Hey, how's it going, YouTube? When I first started getting into the nitrogen flow savers, this was the first one I had, the, the one from Uniweld. And it, it's pretty bulky, but it was a nice little, uh, I mean, it gave you a visual of what your CFH was when you were setting it. And if you were, you know, you'd, you'd get this and you'd kind of crank it up a little bit till you saw a little flow, like right there. Put this dude on there. And normally you have to get it to where it's level. So that was always a challenge, so. But anyway, then you can, you know, set it. Get the cap off here, there we go. You could set the ball, you know, down to five. You can go down to three if you wanted to. Get down in there, but you get it set around five, you just adjust it. You know, you, and you had a visual. And you use very little nitrogen when you're purging, you know, while you're doing your brazing. But like I said, it's kind of bulky and it has to be in an orientation like this. So then you had the Versatec. They come out with theirs. And it's pretty compact, you know, off purge and braze. But they want this set at 50 PSI to get five CFH. So in order to get to 50 PSI, back this out show you something and if you go to 10 if you go to 100 psi it's going to be 10 cfh it's going to double so it's not like it's killing you but the point i'm making is this to get 50 psi crank it down just enough to you see it move right there I just just saw it move just a little bit but now let's check let's check actual pressure there's a point to this whether it's important or not but actual pressure eh, right at about 58 so like on a regular on a regulator like this, you have to turn it just where it barely moves. And on the Diversitec, that's what you pretty much use. And then of course, you know how they work. Now Goss, Goss has made it, it's sold at uh, United. It's made the nitro saver, nitrogen purge, braze, and you use it, you set it to 100 PSI and it gives you five CFH on the, on the braze outlet, 30 on the purge. Now my point is, you set it at 100, right about there, you can see 100 a little easier. And see how accurate that is, the gate my gauge compared to Yeah. So it's it's pretty close. Now at 100 psi, that's gonna be 5 CFH. It's simplistic. Now it doesn't have a dial like the Diversitec, but it also won't break like the Diversitec. You can knock it around, you know, you can throw it around in your bag, whatever, it's gonna, it's pretty tough. It's, it's solid, it's pretty heavy too. It doesn't have to be in a specific orientation. Neither does the Diversitec. Goes for about 60, 65 bucks at United Refrigeration. That's the only place I've seen it yet. Uh, it's not on their website yet, this is pretty new. But you have, you know, tells you to use 100 PSI and it tells you which side is which. Now, the only downfall to that is what if the sticker comes off and you turn it over? Yeah, well, you'd pretty much have to know which side is which by just pulling it off and see how it's sounds. But you get it on there. Any orientation, put the juice to it, take one side off. You hear that? And there's your five CFH and here's your 30.
purging. Obviously, it's going to sound louder, so that's the only other way you tell. If the stickers come off, that's how you would tell. So the one thing I would suggest is that they imprint 30 and 5 on this, and then maybe 100 right here, you know, instead of a sticker. It's kind of, it's going to come off. But the, the simplic simplicity of it is the fact that it's just, it's brass. Um, you can knock it around, throw it in a tool bag. It's not going to break. There's a possibility of this breaking. It can get thrown around a little bit, though. You know, it's it's pretty tough. But this here was always kind of like the go-to when I started. And now you got things like this, which are a little more simple, fit in your tool bag. And uh, are really, it's, it's really nice and simple. So just thought I'd show you something out on the market there besides the, the Versatec. They're probably about the same price. I found this on Amazon for 50 bucks. Can't find this on Amazon yet. It's like I said, it's not even on URI's website yet. It's pretty new. So just wanted to show you the Nitro Saver. And it is NRP, but if you look, I believe, yeah, manufactured by Goss. So, and it's very simple to use. And to me, it's a little easier. You know you're gonna get, if you get to that 100 mark on your on your regulator right there, you know you're gonna be pretty close. The, the diverse tank wants to use 50, so you barely just have to lift off the lift off the pin right there, and you're pretty much at 50 then. But uh, new little tool, something simple, something easy. Use it in your welding bag, you know, when you're purging nitrogen, which you should be doing every time. Um, this guy's simple and easy to use. So just wanted to show that to you. <laughs> Nothing you have to go out and buy, just something so you know that it's out there and keep an eye out for it. And if you're in the market for one, give it a, you know, think about it. So hope this helped you out. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.